Today we're doing a sheep brain dissection and we're just going to go over a few of the very major structures of the sheep brain. We're going to start with orienting ourselves. This is going to be the anterior aspect of the sheep brain. This is going to be the posterior aspect of the sheep brain and you can see part of the spinal cord going towards the posterior. The top of the brain is going to be the dorsal aspect and the bottom of the brain is going to be our ventral aspect. Let's go ahead and begin at the dorsal aspect of the brain. Most noticeably, we can see this thick layer of tissue, kind of looks like saran wrap. That's going to be the meninges. In the meninges, their job is to protect the brain. Underneath the meninges, we can see all this material right here. All this material is going to be the cerebrum. This is the thinking part of your brain. We have a left and a right cerebrum. And the two cerebral hemispheres communicate with each other through this structure right here called the corpus callosum. Inferior to the corpus callosum, we see this round structure called the thalamus, whose job it is to be a relay center. The thalamus takes incoming information and determines what part of the brain it needs to go to. Inferior to the thalamus is going to be the hypothalamus. All this material here is part of the hypothalamus. Both the hypothalamus, the thalamus, and the epithalamus are going to be part of the diencephalon. If we come over here, we see this bush or tree looking uh, type structure. This is going to be the cerebellum. The cerebellum is responsible for coordination. If we go a little bit inferior, we can see the spinal cord over here. The spinal cord comes in, it's going to be continuous with the brain, and the first where the spinal cord communicates with the brain is going to be called the brain stem. And the brain stem consists of three parts. This first part right here, this first little lump here, is the first part. That's going to be called the medulla oblongata. The next lump is going to be the pons. And then finally, just anterior to that, this region right over here is going to be our midbrain. Now if we go up just a little bit higher, and I'm going to take a look at it from this side here, I think we can see it a little bit better. We can see these two bumps right underneath the cerebellum. This is our cerebellum, and just below and anterior to the cerebellum, we can see these two little bumps. Here's one and here's one. The top bump, the most superior bump, is called the superior colliculus. And it has to do with eye reflexes. And the bottom bump, or inferior bump, is called the inferior colliculus. And it has to do with auditory reflexes. Now if we take a look on the ventral aspect of the brain, underneath, there's one remaining structure I want to talk about. In this one remaining structure, if I move some of this out of the way, we can see it. This structure right here is a nerve coming from the eye. So this is going to be the optic nerve communicating with the brain. That's a piece of the optic nerve. And again, you can see all the meninges surrounding the entire central nervous system, not only the brain, but also the spinal cord too. And that's going to be it for the sheep brain dissection.